I loved baseball ever since I was a kid. When I got to VMI, uh, I had, um, my father had arranged for me to be the manager of the football team. I did that, and that's a two-season uh, commitment for fall and spring. And so I, I didn't go out for the baseball team that year, and I must admit, I missed it. The fall of my junior year, I, that was my goal, was to make the baseball team. So I focused myself on this goal, and um, it really became a turning point in my life, I see, in retrospect, because that was, I had a fierce desire to make that team and, and to be a part of that baseball team and to play baseball again. Fortunately, it, it got there and I was able to play, uh, made the team, started the first game, and I guess most of the rest of them the way through. And Sarah, uh, my wife will tell you, she's heard, heard the story, she, she, is, she knows how important it was to me. The VMI discussion with Cheryl started very early in our relationship. There was total, complete passion about that school. And then as I got to know his friends, I was like, these are the craziest human beings I've ever met in my life, and I loved them. They were so passionate and so strong, and then baseball was always a big part of that. But it really was him understanding that sports, like business, like families, like education, is really putting your mind to it and working as hard as you can and being successful. So that's what baseball really meant to him, and absolutely, I heard about it all of our married life. Yeah, she, she fell in love with VMI. It really is a love story on a couple of levels. It's a love for a guy that I just, you know, I'm so fortunate that I've spent my life with. But it really was walking around um, post the second week in December with some friends of ours. And he showed him the baseball field. He showed him, you know, about what it meant to him. And I went, oh my gosh, what is the best gift that I can give this incredible guy? Tara Williams should have a baseball scholarship. And I said, I'm going to do it. I did not ask him about it. I did not ask permission. Did not use his money. <laughs> and I just said, I've got to do it. About a week later, I just picked up the phone and called uh, VMI and got Andrew Deal on the phone. And I said, I want to fund a scholarship. I'd like to do it to give him a Christmas present. I was so excited, I could not contain myself. And he actually came home one day and VMI had sent something that I could give him and I'd left it out on the table. So, actually it was two days before Christmas. I almost blew it. This was to be a surprise. And so I had to find a chit chatty way to get you out of the kitchen <laughs> so I could scoop up the envelope and put it in the drawer. Whew. Yeah, I guess so, I'm easily distracted. You were easily I, I didn't distracted. catch it. I totally missed it. <laughs> this scholarship is initiated through the generosity of Mrs. Sarah Williams as a gift to her husband, Terrell Williams, VMI class of 1974, and will forever. While it was the best gift I've ever given, <laughs> and the best surprise, totally the best surprise I've ever given. I, I really, we get joy from the fact that there will be some wonderful cadets that get to play baseball, get to have great experiences. It's impossible not to smile. It's, uh, it's still beyond belief. It, it makes me feel real good that I'm actually making a, a, a nice positive contribution to the Institute and to a, a cadet. <laughs> Great question. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> we'll go to all the baseball games. That's how we'll do it. Yeah, that's what we'll do.